that one video is up to like <laughs> 46.8 thousand views. Which one? Uh, Fuck, she found out, fellas. That one. <laughs> that was on my break <laughs> in my car. I could tell. <laughs> you do some of your best things on break. Oh, God. I.E. The podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just like... Uh, <laughs> the few vid- the fruit the first few videos I posted was like just nonsense, and then that one I I learned the the, the stitch function the, yeah the stitch function, and I was like oh this could be fun, and then it fucking I went from twenty two followers to over four hundred in like seven hours, and I got home I got home and I was like hey Stacy listen so now we got a no TikTok policy in the house but. I, I made a fucking TikTok. She goes, why would you do that? I was like, it's really cool. Like, I felt like I was talking to my mom. Like, it's really cool. And I showed her, she's like, that's funny, but stupid. another edition of inside you on bill a raptor oh uh so how do how do we word it so that uh so we're gonna take a break from our series on the 80s and because uh, we're gonna take kind of what's what i like to call a station break since now we got the we got the studio set up kind of like a radio station might as well just go station break yes uh uh oh god um (laughs) <laughs> Middles will get right into it. So, um, Raptor has news ish. Is it? Well, it's just straight fucking news. Yeah, just news. Um, it's news. I don't want to. Uh, oh, my God, I'm so fucking sore. I fell in the parking lot today. Oh. Yeah, I got the the dudes who are running the parking lot have not been uh savory keeping it up. Yeah, that parking lot shit. I was up there today. We uh. We did you yell up. for me? Did you see me yell for me? No, I didn't. Because I swear to God, I heard that. <laughs> so no, I, I did around, and I'm looking, and then there's this Hispanic lady who was like, okay, and I'm like, <laughs> sorry. I mean, we were up there about, maybe about the time you would have been leaving, but uh, okay. I didn't run into you. Yeah, I got out. I got, I parked the car, and then got out. <laughs> Bang! Right on my shoulder. I was like, fuck me, running. This is the day it's going to be. But then I got free coffee from Duncan, and I got to coach a motherfucker. So my morning looked up. <laughs> 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 My morning was up. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll preface Raptors news by saying we're going to take a little bit of a break. Um, since we do everything on the air, I will say that um, with Raptors blessing, I'd like to maybe invite some guest hosts on in your absence. Absolutely. Um, because Raptors, we're not. Well, I'm not taking a break. I'm. I'll, I'm always around because I'm fat and I have no <laughs> life. Uh, <laughs> Hit the falsetto. Have no life. Um. Uh. But um. Raptors kind of checking out for a little bit with good reason. We we didn't get into a tussle or anything. Um. She didn't touch my dick. I didn't touch her vagina. Um, There were there were no shirts and skins out in the street. There were no there there were no shirts and sports bras out in the parking (laughs) lot. Although at this point, Ash is like, I would watch that. Lesbian jokes. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, Raptor's going to check out for a little bit, and uh, with good reason, so why don't you take it away while I enjoy my Seagram's Punch. So, this all kind of happened really fast. <laughs> you bitch, I can't do everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm breaking up with you. It's not you, it's Yo, me. Don't, don't ever... <laughs> Don't ever come to my house and be like, "We're not going to speak anymore." I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, cut, I'll just cut my wrist right on the right on the stoop. <laughs> on the stoop. Um, I'm moving. Mm-hmm. Um, tell them where Missouri. <laughs> Want to know why? Pussy. No. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> I'm taking that with me. 
Um, so, I mean, we've, I, well, I've been wanting to get out of the area for ever. Pennsylvania sucks the dick. It does. Even I can admit, I, I, this is, I was raised in PA. I mean, I was just... <clears throat> yeah, it's, I mean, like, I know everyone says, like, their hometown is just, like, a shitty area. I get that. Um, every time I've gotten out, I've come back. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, moving to Missouri. Um, Missouri. Missouri. She found a house. <laughs> Did you guys get the house? Not yet. Okay. Um, so I put in for a transfer with my job. Um, maybe like two weeks ago, I put in for a couple places. And then last week I put in for one... They like last Tuesday, Wednesday. That's the text that started it all. You're like, tell me, tell me, don't do it. Yeah, like, I don't get those texts from you that often because you're pretty of sound mind. But when you text me, a bad judge of moral character, <laughs> and you're just right. like, tell me, tell me, I'm, I'm like, what, what, what? <laughs> like I'm like ready to mount up. Like what happened? <laughs> like who are we killing? <laughs> like, I got back at Walmart, and I'm like. At first, I thought my Walmart. I was like, yay, she's coming home. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not coming home. And, like the fucking greatest showman was like <laughs> queuing up in my ear, and we will come back home. <laughs> uh, and you're like, no. But then that uh, you you're not uh, do Walmart at all. No, I'm not. I um I did get a, a transfer with the company I'm with now. Did um, they ever contact you, Walmart? No. Oh <laughs> so, no. <laughs> total Walmart move. <laughs> it totally <laughs> is. Um, but for the place that I'm going. I put in for the position, like, I was, like, last Tuesday, Wednesday. I got a phone call Friday. And, uh, lady I spoke with was like, um, so how soon can you get out here? <laughs> so I talked to her for a couple minutes Friday. Um, I had a phone interview with her Saturday. Uh, had to wait for another phone call, which she said would be Monday. But that happened Wednesday. Um... No, it didn't happen Wednesday. Fuck. Um, I feel. Like, I feel like the last two weeks have just been like a f- total fucking blur for you. It it really has because like everything, like with all of this, and then I have some other shit going on at work too that I'm like baby mama drama. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The alcohol hit me early tonight, folks. Um, that yearly bullshit that we all have to go through. Hashtag inventory. Yes. Oh, God. Do you have inventory right before you can leave? I'm leaving right before it. Oh, you're just, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, I was just kind of waiting for phone calls and, I mean, I've been in touch with, with, uh, my new boss and, um, I'm just waiting for one more approval, which, I mean, pretty much is approved. I just gotta, you know, get the word. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I'm probably leaving by the end of the week. Oh. Packing up and getting the fuck out. You fucking bitch. Listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm heartbroken that you're leaving. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, there's that. Uh, and the podcast will maintain. The little thing called, I don't know if you guys know this. It's a new thing. It's really cool. It's called the World Wide Web. Yes. <laughs> They do video calls like RoboCop did in 89. Like, when you ask me, you're like, do you want to, like, stop? And I'm like, no, Ashley would kill me. Like, she yeah, would kill me. That shouldn't be the only reason why you, why you want to keep doing it. It's because you enjoy it. Well, I do. But, like, but my, also, my, my first thought is, she would kill me if I told her we were stopping. Yeah. Like, she would legit kill me. Um... No, I don't want a credit card. I'm a spend account. I've already got enough credit cards. <laughs> God, no. Uh, so that's something. Yeah. Um, so my next question is: Did Ashley put it to? Did Ashley put a notice in at Ritter's? Um, not sure. I don't think so. Or is she just going to up and quit? Uh, I think she's just upping and quitting. I know she's going in today. Well, um, good thing she didn't put my wife down as a reference. <laughs> it was. I will call it back. Store manager's kind of a dick, I hear. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Um, uh, so where are you guys going to stay until you get some place to So the shack it out? Place, the store that I got, like, outside of Kansas City. Okay. 
Um. Oh, you're not going to become a Chiefs fan. No, I'm not. Oh. I'm I'm not a, a an NFL fan. I'm really not. Well, who's the college team out of Kansas City? I have no idea. Kansas State University? Is that a place? I have no idea. <laughs> really have no idea. Okay, then. Um, so I'm just trying to find either... I was looking at, um, like, a month-to-month apartment mm-hmm. so I can get the house and all that. Um, or, like, they have, like, vacation home rentals. Like an Airbnb? Kind of, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that are, I mean, like, they're not bad for, like, pricing-wise for, like, the month. Um, I'm still kind of looking into that. I mean, if I have to shack up in a hotel room for a couple days till a week or something until I find a place. Are you leaving first, or are you guys just going all together? Oh, we're going all together. Okay. And the, and the kids? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going all together. Um, I said about going out first, just to kind of getting settled and all that. Oh my god, that's that's so, like, old-timey romantic. I'm gonna go first, and then I will send for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. and- <laughs> He's looking at you, kid. No, that's that's not Bogart. <laughs> <laughs> and then and that that, that was like nope we're not doing that so well on the plus side it'll have it, it's give me a, a chance to fucking travel <laughs> fucking get out there come see us yeah like I I told my mom last week um I feel some type of way that you told me before you told your mom and I hope she doesn't listen to this and find that out <laughs> oh she knows you know <laughs> oh god okay <laughs> I'm sorry yeah I told her last week um, her and I went out for breakfast and I'm like, Oh, it's a good thing you're sitting down. She's like, I used to say the same thing to your grandmother before I asked her for something. It's she's good like, you're sitting down, mom. I'm straight now. <laughs> she's like, what did you do? Well, she's got like an attorney on speed dial. What'd you do? Yep. <laughs> did your mom call you a raptor? No. Oh my God. That was so funny. No. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what did you do? And I'm like, Oh, it's not what I did. It's what I'm going to do. What are you doing? She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, moving. She's like, ah, I kind of figured. See ya. Oh, wow. <laughs> Parental love at its best. <laughs> She's like, at least I'll have somewhere to come and visit. <laughs> are you scared? I am. Yeah. I am. I figure that. Like, you've, I... been, you've been pretty uh, pretty radio silent. And I'll, like, I, like, I'm excited for you, so I keep checking in. And But you, other than that, you've been pretty radio silent, so I figured you were either nervous, scared, or... Those. Yeah, I mean, like, there's been a lot to do. Packing and doing all that. Pack up your apartment. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Is it still a shithole? <laughs> Cause last no! Time, <laughs> the last time I was there, it was a wreck, dude. Come on. <laughs> Be honest. I, I cleaned it up a little last oh, okay. week. <laughs> like, last time I was there, fucking tipped over a bottle of Pink Whitney. <laughs> 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 I think you and Ashley just got done having sex when I walked in. No, we did <laughs> We were out in the parking lot when you were th- when you got there. No, the last time I was there is when we did Ashley's <laughs> Ashley's uh, interview. Yeah, and we uh, were out in the parking lot talking to her friend. Because you drove by, and I'm like, oh, I think that was Thick Pen, and oh, then you sure. okay, <laughs> you yeah. came back through, and I'm like, did you drive by? Okay. Yeah. You wasted a good bottle of Pink Whitney. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Don't worry, no alcohol was uh, <laughs> harmed. <laughs> uh. So. Why Missouri, though? Um, it's cheap. It's 13 hours away from here. By uh, car. 16 and a half to... I only, I only mapped St. Louis. Oh, so that's 13. 16 and a half to the uh, store that I'm getting. Uh, it's like 15 and a half to the house that we're looking and at. you are going to travel 16 hours in that car with those children. Um, We're probably going to go at night so they're sleeping. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was a pretty rowdy kid sometimes, and I, a, night, oh, no. a nighttime fucking road trip is money. <laughs> She's like, drug those fuckers, put some pull-ups on them, let's go! <laughs> Here, baby, take this pill. What is it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It tastes like metal. It's okay. <laughs> You're gonna be out in no time. <laughs> Mom, I don't feel... <clears throat> yep, pretty much. Melatonin gummies. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, I mean, we're gonna try to do it at night. I'm, I'm still waiting on well so pretty much my transfer, transfer is going to go through for next Saturday. Yeah. It's just finding out when I'm getting released from here. <laughs> I'm like prison. <laughs> right? Um, 
And then... <laughs> I find out when my parole hits. <laughs> yep. And then, you know, just doing the last little pack up and get the fuck out. Alright. Well, uh... Like I said, I knew it was coming, but I've been kind of in a funk <laughs> since you were like... So... Since, like, every time I would ask a question, you would get more and more certain. That's when I was like, oh, okay. Okay, well. And this all started just because she found a house. Like, like I said, like, we've been, I, I've well, been, you know what? I've, I've been talking about Since I've getting met you, out. you've been a spur of the moment kind of gal. Yeah. So, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. I, I mean, I've, I've been wanting to get back out of this area for the longest time. Well, you've lived in places. You've, yes, uh, but I've always come back. Canada. Um, I was in Virginia for a while, Virginia, like Canadian, or as, Canadia. I like to, as I like to call it, Caucasia. <laughs> 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 oh, that was bad, Bill. <laughs> I I mean, like I've I've always come back, and that's I mean, this area has been my downfall, and like I grew up here, and there's there's nothing here. Well, for me, there's nothing. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing here. There's nothing holding me here. You know, yeah, I have my mom, but like my mom's never been one to stop me from doing anything. No, your mom respects that you're a, a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Exactly. <laughs> like, I know she has made comments before about me saying, like, when me saying, I'm like, I want to get out, she's like, I have never stopped you from leaving. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I really have nothing holding me here anymore. No. Uh, yeah, maybe it's about time. Yeah, I like, mean, and for the both of us. The podcast and the network notwithstanding, that and it's pretty much like, have podcast will travel. It yeah. travels with you. Our and stuff. I will have my own little office. In in the house? In the house. Ooh. And a raptor cave. And a raptor cave? And a raptor cave. Oh. Right? Fuck me. Well, this is like my raptor cave. This is like, this is like my think pen cave. This is where I will I, I will uh, continue on and, and now do TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> um... <coughs> So that's that's the news. Raptors packing up and shacking up at that rhyme. This thing is eight percent alcohol by volume. Didn't know it when I fucking bought it. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a very weak Hawaiian punch with uh, Smirnoff ice in it. It's not terrible. I also have a white claw <laughs> in the fridge. Ew, <laughs> that's <laughs> like drinking TV static. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Listen. <coughs> <coughs> like, that's what I think TV static tastes like. Any of those seltzer drinks. And I've tried a couple different ones. I'm a ones. big seltzer fan. Never have been. Um, when I, when we were, when, I, when Kate and I were kids, <coughs> we, uh, we had this friend, her name was, I hope, my memory's been starting to go. And I usually have really good recall. I believe her name was Elise Silberman. Don't know if she was a Jew or not. That that matters. Silverman, <laughs> very Jewish. Uh, we would go play with her. Now we were young kids. We would go play with her in the trailer park. I want to say she was in the trailer park. Probably somewhere. And uh, she was like, I, there was a time where she was like, "You guys want some water?" And she brings out a big bottle of salted water. And it was like exactly, it was like drinking VHF <laughs> TV static. Right now, Stacy is on a keto diet, <laughs> and I think she's been looking for a way. To include herself in my alcoholic gains. <laughs> and by alcoholic, I don't mean I'm an alcoholic. I mean of alcohol. <laughs> because I do enjoy a cocktail. So she's like, what about White Claw? I was like, I don't know. I, 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 I hear things. It, it's a white girl drink. I mean, the one that I had, I don't remember which one it was. Is I wasn't a fan of it. But I don't really like... And I've tried a couple different of the seltzer, like, alcoholic drinks. Mm-hmm. It's not a fan of them. But seeing as they did it, they, they just put in a new alcohol section at uh, Stacy's work. We went down there to pick her up last, uh, uh, when it was about the ice storm was about to fucking nail us. <clears throat> I had the car cause I had fixed Stacey, uh, Sophie to dance class. So we went to pick her up and I went in and it was just like spread my arms. I was like, love exciting and new. <laughs> <laughs> Ended up getting this fucker. And then a, a little this bottle of something called Johnny Bootlegger. Yo, those are so good. Uh, the apple. I don't think I've tried that one. Uh, the peach it, one's really good. The watermelon's really good. It comes in a little fucking, like, a sipping whiskey bottle. Yeah. It's so cool. They're so good. Haven't ha- I haven't tried it yet. 
everyone I've tried has been so good. I might because I have a, I have the entirety of next weekend off, so I might I might give a little little shit. But this thing, oh, I still have a couple of those in my fridge too. Um. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna try and find some guest hosts to fill in all Raptors off uh, uh off on the on the front <laughs> on the frontier. <laughs> Um. Uh, spilt liquor. We never kind of quite got it off the ground. No. But uh, the wife was inquiring about it last night <laughs> before all the choking, and uh, <laughs> 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 oh, that made me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's not, but after all the things I've said on this podcast, that's the, that's the thing that we can... Right? Uh, <laughs> 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 like, when I walk in and you're like, oh, not to change the subject or anything, we weren't even talking about anything. <laughs> no, it was like fresh on my mind, because she texts me, she goes, all right, have, have a good time recording, I'll be waiting for you when you get done. Winky face. And I'm like, oh god, <laughs> Listen, I got like an hour and a half of sleep last night because we were up like doing stuff. <laughs> um, uh, but Stacy inquired about it last night, and um, we got some things to take care of uh, financially. Uh, we're trying to go. Lennon, Lennon turns five next month. My God! And he will not let us forget it. Dad, yeah, guess what? What, buddy? I'm turning five next month. I know. Isn't that grand? What? <laughs> Did you just say, isn't it grand? Jack, for the longest time, was like, I'm a whole hand. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Um, so, we were going to do a big party. We were planning it as soon as early as last year, but then COVID hit and everything went to shit. So, um, but we have figured out that you can, because we went to Ocean City during the summer, we figured out you can travel and do it safely. Yeah. Um, so, we are looking into taking him to Kalahari. Oh, yeah. For two days. Um, and it was between Great Wolf Lodge, which we've been at. That's where I proposed to my wife in front of the SpongeBob arcade machine. <laughs> you didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh my God. So. I don't think you ever told me that. So 2009, Stacy, uh, St- that was the year Stacy graduated college. So we were supposed to that April, I believe. Uh, was it March? Or- oh, no, that March of 2009. Um, during spring break, it's like late March, early, we had booked a flight to take a couple of days to go to Fort Lauderdale. Um, our flights ended up getting canceled because we got hit with a snowstorm. So instead, we drove in whiteout conditions up to Great Wolf Lodge. Now, I had an engagement ring. I had planned on proposing to Stacy on the beach in Fort Lauderdale at night. Very romantic. Um, uh, that And that didn't end up happening. But, and this was like a spur-of-the-moment thing. Like, we all... Me, Stacy, and her friend Christina, we all slept on the floor in her basement, and then the next day we went over to Great Wolf. So, I was like, what the fuck, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I didn't want to wait. So, I, we were in the arcade, and I was just like, hey! <laughs> and she was like, yes, get up, get the fuck up, get up, get up, please get up. So, <laughs> uh, we were watching a video the other day on YouTube of just showing Lennon, like, what would you rather, things like that. And we showed a video of Great Wolf. And then the fucking SpongeBob machine popped up on the video. I was like, everybody hold the fuck on! <laughs> <laughs> Stacy, look! Scene of the crime! <laughs> she was like, yeah, God. She was like, didn't you get like 1,200 tickets out of that goddamn machine? I was like, yes, I did. <laughs> it was a good night all around. Uh, I can't believe you don't know that story. No, you. I don't think you've ever told me... In the ten years we've been friends, I don't think you've ever told <laughs> oh me that story. God. Um, yeah. Well, we ended up making it to Fort Lauderdale. I think we went later in uh, after Stacy graduated. But uh, yeah. Uh, so no, we uh, we were going to take him to Kalahari, and the, the only reason we chose Kalahari one is a, it's maybe two hundred dollars cheaper than Great Great Wolf's fucking expensive. Yeah. But they have a bar <laughs> in the water park. <laughs> <clears throat> so, then that's where Daddy drives. So <laughs> we're gonna go there, and he's just he's just like, uh, I'll go anywhere that there's water. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, that's it. Um, and then uh, so we got competition and stuff coming up. But um, so uh, roundabout way of saying that, uh, uh, do you mind if I take it over and give it a shot? Yeah, go ahead. Spilt liquor, 
Um, I got, I found a deal on a DSLR camera that shoots in, shoots in 1080 and things like that. And, um, some, uh, just maybe try it. I might if I take it over. Uh, um, I know you don't, you don't, you don't really care for being on camera. No. No. And that was kind of always a point of contrition with this thing because, um, it would most likely be you shooting it and me hosting it. And that seemed kind of selfish to me since it's supposed to be a part of the Gold Star Media thing. But you look, you look like you want to say something. No. Okay. Um, figured I'd give it a shot, kill some time. Um, and, uh, I mean, you're moving, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Um, uh, do you want to take the green screen stuff and lights with you? No. You sure? Yeah. You're going to have a Raptor office. Okay, again, you don't like being on camera. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is really big. You gotta drink like three of them. Well, here's the thing. Your boy don't have a gallbladder, which expedites the, the shipping <laughs> of said alcohol <laughs> into my liver <laughs> and fucks me right up. That's why I can't have more than one Long Island iced tea without purging first. <laughs> Ashley had her first uh, Long Island on yesterday. What? Yeah. Never had one before. She never had one before. Where'd you have it? Missed. Yeah, we um, we kind of went. We we're doing these last couple things. Like sidebar. Have you ever tried those Long Island iced teas in a can? Yes. They're gross. Yeah. They're not mixed well. No, they're not. And they're like a malt beverage. Yeah. So it's like, ooh, ooh, it's like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Continue. Um. Well, we actually, like, we went to get, like, some, like, Starlight bins and shit to move. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I was like, let's go to Mist. Like, one last, like, date night. Um, Yeah, your Facebook post is very ominous. Right. Like, I haven't been frequenting Facebook, but because, as ever mentioned, I've been frequenting TikTok and everything else. It just doesn't take precedence anymore. (laughs) But I went on and you were, like, checked in at Mist one last time. I was like, oh, how fucking ominous is that? (laughs) Right? And then your comment, oh, will be revealed soon. I was like, Jesus Christ, she's like... <laughs> You're like Mephisto. <laughs> <She's> like... <laughs> but, um... Like, we had gotten there, and, uh... She sat down. I had, like, gone to the bathroom, and I come back, and she's like, what are you getting to drink? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I looked, and I'm like, oh, a Long Island iced tea. She's like, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> the first time she's ever had one. Did they mix it right? Yeah, okay. they did, yeah. Um, yeah, so, so she had her first Long Island iced tea. How'd it go? It was good. Did she get fucked up? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Um, she's like, what's in this? And I'm like, a little bit of everything. That's my that's my my depression drink, because no matter what the... the, out, the no matter, like, the size of it, it's equal parts of all, all yeah. stuff. So, like... When I have, I had Stacy try one, and she was like, "Oh, that's strong!" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "How much alcohol is in here?" I was like, three ounces everything." And she goes, Are "You fucking insane!" <laughs> I was like, "I'll make you a weak one." You can go for an ounce and a half, or up to up to. I would make a fishbowl out of it. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, that would ca- oh no, Raptor! My liver hurts just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, are you happy with your decision? I you am. Seem, you seem. As as scared as you as I as I can tell you are, you seem kind of chomping at the bit to like get the fuck out of Dodge. I am. I I mean, like getting out. Like I've never had a problem getting out. It's coming back. That's the issue. Uh, yeah. Mm. Um. And now it's like it's not only me; it's four other people. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Welcome to middle aged parenthood. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, not only do I have to, like, worry about, like, myself, you know, I've <laughs> another adult and... You have responsibilities. Three kids yeah. to worry about now, too. Um, I don't know, like, I, I... Tres chicle, no, chicle bubblegum. What the fuck? 
Yes. Cualquier chicle. I am excited to get out. Like it's it's definitely gonna be something. I mean, like the stress of packing up on short notice, trying yeah. to find somewhere to go, short notice, like, and then. Uh, you have money saved up for this? No. Oh boy, you have credit cards. Yes. There you go. Yep. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this episode sponsored by Capital One. <laughs> Please. <laughs> No, seriously, I just got a Capital One credit card. So I, I have one, please. I got a, I got approved for it. I was like, I got the Sam Jackson card. <laughs> um, but like, I don't know. It's it's like the stress of of just everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not even sure when I'm leaving. Yeah, and like I could be told tomorrow, like. Hey, I need you out here by Friday. Like, type thing. Yeah. So, it, it's just trying to get all that last minute shit together and, you know, make sure we have everything we need. Mm-hmm. Like, we're on bare minimum. Um, Like, my bed, kids' beds, stuff like that. Are you going to tie them to the top of the Jeep? No, I'm going to get, like, one of those, like, U Haul trailers. Okay. I, that's what I was concerned about. I was like, you got a lot of, you're, for your tiny apartment, you got a lot of stuff. Yeah, like, I'm not taking everything. Um, are you gonna keep, are you gonna keep paying for your apartment while you're gone? No. Okay. Where are you putting everything? You said you're not taking, you said you're not taking everything. Where are you putting no, everything? No, I'm not taking everything. Like, my bed's going, my TVs are going. Um, I messaged my neighbor. She's gonna take my little, like, coffee table. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't need it. Like, take it. Um, I'm gonna try and sell my TV stands. And my low refrigerator. A couple extra bucks. You know. Yeah, that refrigerator is tiny as fuck. Yeah. I mean. It's an apartment. Yeah. Refrigerator. So, like, it, I mean, it worked. Not that I, like, I had a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> Spilled <laughs> bottle of Pink Whitney. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to try to sell that. A couple extra bucks. Um, and then I have my, like, just, like, my little shit that I've. Uh, gotten over past year and a half. Yeah, yeah. You know. oh my God, is that how long you've been there? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> Dang. Yeah. I mean, I've only technically lived there for like a year. Ish. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been paying rent for about a year and a half. I think the longest I've been there in the past. Six months was Tuesday. I was there for like four hours, just like cleaning shit up, getting rid of shit. Paying rent there, uh, like five twenty five. Oh, you kept paying that while you were sleeping at Ashley's. Oh my god! I had nowhere to go with my stuff. No, that's fine. I'm just like wow. Yeah, but also five twenty five for that. Yeah, I guess served its purpose. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, how do the kids feel? Um, <laughs> or you haven't told him yet. Jaden knows. Okay. Since he's a little older, like we, she did discuss that with him before, like all this came about. You know, the talks of possibly moving, mm-hmm. and uh, you know he was alright with it. Um, but now we told him that he's getting his own room. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I'm giving him. Well, she's giving him my PS4. <laughs> because <laughs> oh. i said there last night i was like you know I'm, I'm gonna try and sell like some of this shit like 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 i said like my tv stands like my refrigerator try to get rid of that i'm like um since we have a ps5 i was like you know i think i should sell the ps4 she's like no i told jay she, he could have it and i'm like wait what <laughs> and she's like oh yeah i forgot to tell you <laughs> not for nothing ashley because i know you listen to every single episode you're a little pretentious aren't you <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Like, <coughs> he can have it. He, you know, his own little space. Oh, that's right. You have the goodness. Yes. You have the PS5. I do have the PS5. Oh, um, Come on, Stimulus. <laughs> no, Stimulus. We're, we still plan on going to, to uh, Cleveland in April, so I'm best, the best Stimulus better pass quick. Yeah, I mean, so, like, he's getting that. I mean, just, and it's just, like... Oh, you guys have got that to help out? Yeah. That's good? Yeah. And then I have all that shit at my mom's that I don't know what I'm doing with. 
I'm gonna have to come back you at some point. More shit at your mom's? Yeah. Good lord. I have like three bookcases worth of movies. Oh damn. And just other shit there. I suppose you always ship it. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be expensive. Yeah. Ooh. Like I don't wanna. That's storage unit. Thought about that too. Mm. Um. I don't know yet. I got I got to figure out what I'm doing with that. So. Well, certainly a big change. Yeah. Yeah. I think the other kids are gonna feel about it. Um, I think Jack's gonna be fine. It's gonna be Logan. School. Uh, we're, that's the thing. Was like we're not sure what to do there. Well, because we're like where we're going. Don't know how long we're gonna be there. We don't want to like bounce from school district to school district. Yeah, so, you know. Mm-hmm. Don't know how long we're gonna be there till like with the house and everything. So trying to figure out what to do there. Um, probably just uh, you know what, school, what school district is in uh, the the um. Story you're going to, what the, what the school district is in the in the in there. Contact them, see what their advice what their advice to you would be. I I would venture a guess that uh, um, Kansas City, Missouri school districts are way better than Panther Valley. So <laughs> probably yeah. Go Chiefs. Uh, no, go Chiefs. Actually, I was actually rooting for them in the Super Bowl. Fuck Tom Brady. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been struggling with my best friend skipping town for the last two weeks. It's not been. Hmm. Like I told Krista the other day, we went over today to see her. She's like, "You better come see me before we leave." Before you leave, and like I messaged her today, I was like, "Hey, you busy?" She's like, "I take it congratulations are in order." I'm like, "Yeah, kinda." I was like, "But I could be leaving by the end of the week. I don't know when I'm gonna have time." She's like, "She told me she's like." You better promise to come say goodbye to me before you leave. Yeah. So, like, we went over today for a little bit. They're they're redoing their um, living room, kitchen, all that. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So we were we were over there for a little bit. Um, she gave us some some of her paintings to hang up in the house. Oh, that's, that's yeah. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. One, one's of one's of an ass. It's like the female figure, mm-hmm. but it's all like back ass, all that, and okay. of course. What? How fitting. You're right. <laughs> and Jack's like, I want the booty pick. Nope. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> right away, he saw, he's like, I want the booty pick. No, sir. <laughs> I'm like, nope. Nope. Um, and then Rosa messaged me today. She's like, where are you going and when? <laughs> I mean, like, I really haven't said. So there, there really was only a tight circle to do. Yeah. So. I mean, I didn't even really. Like, the only people I told. You, my mom, Krista. Um, I told two of my vendors because one of them was actually his last day Friday with that route. Mm-hmm. He's going to a different route because I saw him, and uh, he's like, "Oh, he's like, I'm so happy you're here." He's like, "Today's my last day," and I'm like, "Oh, I was like, this might be my last week." <laughs> so who's taking over for you? I don't know yet. Mm. Does that have to be selected before you leave? Um, I don't know. He might have someone in mind. I mean, I talked to him Thursday before I left, and he's like, everything will be seem seem pretty seamless for your go ahead. So, is he pissed? No, he was pissed that because the um, the district manager that I was talking to had actually she called me, um, and then she texted him, and he was at my place at the time. Oh, boy. and I don't get service in my building. Mm-hmm. So, after I talked to her, um, we had a conference call, and then, like, I would, after that, I was like, hey, did you get a text from an- another district manager? He's like, yeah, what's that about? <laughs> and, uh, like, him and I talked, and he's like, he's like, why didn't you tell me? Um, he's like, I had to find out this way. I was like, honestly, I was like, I put him for this position, like, two days ago. I was like, she just called me. I was like, I haven't had a chance to talk to you. Stinks. That is what it is. Uh, 
It's one of the main things being a, being an adult. Get used to disappointment. Um. So, I mean, there's really not much uh, to. I mean, it's not, there's not really that much to talk about. We're kind of putting the the eighty series on hold. Um. Because I don't necessarily want to do that without you unless I get a slew of co-hosts. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, whatever you need then, to do. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Andrea and Melissa separately to co-host an episode each. Yeah. Because, I mean, they're our friends and <laughs> they bring me comfort. Um, uh, probably ask Derek. Derek's been trying to get over here to do a podcast forever. And he did, he had a new, he has a new baby. Yeah. He just He just can't. But he, but he keeps itching to, <laughs> and there, there is, there is a seed of a podcast between him and I there, a separate one, and I think the working title for it is asparagus. It's an inside joke between him and myself and him. <laughs> there was a can of asparagus floating around the back room for like three weeks, <laughs> and every day I would put it, I would put it somewhere, and every morning I would come back in, and it would be on the walkie stacker. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know necessarily. No, it's that that those are, that idea is still in its infancy. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna, that's going to be just asparagus. Pretty, pretty. Hipster, I would listen to that. Pretty hipster, pretty non nondescript, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird non sequitur to be like, <laughs> welcome to asparagus, and then go to something completely different, not produce related. <laughs> I would listen to that. Uh, yeah, it, it's there. Uh, we just gotta figure out. He he just doesn't have time, and uh, you know, um, I'm gonna ask Kate. I'm gonna pry her off the shitter. <laughs> it's um, about time. I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on a portable um, XLR recorder, like one of those road devices. Yeah. That way, maybe twinning could start back up. I feel like this this is a new beginning for everything with you leaving. Um, because, I mean, the the podcast we're not we're not gonna stop. No, like we put we put too much into it for one. Like when you had asked me, you're like, do you want to like call it quits? I'm like, dude, I was just curious. I was just curious. Because uh, like my mom even asked me the same thing. She's like, well, what about the podcast? <laughs> yeah, that seemed to be that seemed to be the elephant in the room. Was Swags asked me the same. She, she's like, "What about this? Po- what about the podcast?" Which and it, you know what? That it, it's very nice that people enjoy it. That brings, that brings me a lot of happiness. But it seems like this could be a this could be a, a, a jump start for other stuff because for this particular show, I mean, your your schedule notwithstanding, that's ninety minutes, two hours out of yeah out of a week, and we're both exceedingly busy people, but we always make time for it. So those and it not it doesn't. I don't really edit anything out. So that that's not the thing that I'm worried about. Um, so I'm dropping business cards all the way from here to Missouri. You fucking better. You fucking. We were better. sitting at Mist yesterday, and I'm like, Yeet fuck. Them. <laughs> Eat them out the window on the interstate. I'm like fuck, and she's like, what? I was like, I wanted to drop off business cards. She's like, why didn't you give me any? I'm like, the box is sitting on my table. <laughs> like it's there. Yeah. But every time we go, it's like I keep. It's always like a last minute thing, and like, I always keep forgetting to grab some because I, I was I'm always going. I wanted to put some on their uh, their counter there as you're walking in because they have a bunch of different like business cards and mm-hmm. shit there. I, I've always wanted to put some down, but it's always been a last minute thing, and I never remember to grab any. I left some at Canobles last summer, <laughs> which it was right after COVID had started, and in retrospect, I should not have been leaving business cards around in a public place, but I did it anyway. I left one on every urinal in the men's bathroom. <laughs> I left it on the the uh, little aeroplane ride that Lenny wanted to go on. Left a bunch there, um, but yeah, I feel like this could be a, a good jumping off point to get more things off the ground, keep myself busy, while at the same time keeping the show going. And and uh, um, I mean, even once I get settled out there and all that, you can kind of do maybe like a check in and yeah, shit like that. And... Yeah. Um, but, um, you need time. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, this is Raptor's last episode for a while. Um, um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna take a week and see if I can uh, cash in any any uh, co-host. I feel like a co-hosting episode with myself and Melissa is gonna go off the rails. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, fucking. Let quick. me know when you do that. <laughs> like, because I mean, the four of us, we always have a good time when we record. But I mean, even when we don't even record and just kind of get together and like just kind of bullshit, I love like those it's two so much. It's it's always like you never know what's gonna come out of anybody's mouth. Yeah, and especially Melissa's so fucking expressive with everything she right? says. I gotta imagine like being watching caught- her, watching her on camera. Like you can only imagine like the shit that she says, but like actually watching her facial expressions on camera the Christ- brings me joy. The Christmas episode we have the, the, the we recorded with them. Uh, I have the Skype uh, the the Zoom call saved saved on the hard drive. I was watching a little bit of, of it earlier, and I'm losing it. <laughs> I have to imagine being one of her students is an absolute treasure. Right? <laughs> Sign me up for one of your classes. I know. I know. And and uh, Andrea's funny in her own right. She's yeah. Got, she, she's got, she's got, a, she's got a, a great comedic delivery. She does. It brings me so much joy. That's one, that's one of the best things that ever happened at this whole podcasting game, is finding those two. <clears throat> like I said, like man, that that was just like a random like oh, God. find on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think it was Andrea that was like one of those like podcast Facebook groups, and you know, put the episode one of the episodes out there, and like I just started listening, and then you know, I told you about it, and then now here we are. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because we had contact another podcast before them. Yeah. And um, they responded, but never back, but never kind of got back to us again. I still enjoy listening to them. Um, let's read our diaries. They're, they're, they're legit funny. They are. Um, and they they have success in their, in their own right. Um, and then you turn me on to this and then I was like, oh, this is so much better. Oh, this is so much better. And like, you can tell, like, cause I mean, I've, I've had people say to, uh, to me, like, you can tell that you two are friends. <laughs> Like, listening to them, like, you can tell they have been friends forever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, I, I, <laughs> it's money whenever we get together. Yeah, it is. So, I'm going to ask them both to do, uh, to co-hosts separately. Maybe, you know what, maybe, maybe we will continue the series on the 80s with some co-hosts. Just to keep a little continuity. If that's okay with you. No, that's fine. Okay. Um... I'm going to have to get Kate on for 1985 because there's going to be about a 90 minute spew about Back to the Future. And cause I guarantee you, give us two hours and 30 minutes. We could probably take it through the whole script. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you mean, you mean the suckers radio? Or was it? What did he say? You mean those things, uh, nuclear? Is that what he said? I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> no, the sucker's electrical, but I need the plutonium to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. There it is. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I brought it back. Um, try to get Derek on. Try to get, uh, oh, I don't know who else. I did ask Stacey to co-host an episode, and she was kind of like, the, uh, the last time we tried to record an episode... What well, it went well, but we can't use the audio. <laughs> so uh, that's what happens when you leave the mics on. <laughs> um, maybe try to do that one again. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that one again. Maybe, maybe when it's that time of the month, so it's kind of like off limits. But yeah, and then uh, so, um, and then I. Uh, I wrote out a, a, a rough kind of script for the, f- for a rough pilot of, uh, Spilt Liquor. Uh, it involves an 8x10 of Alton Brown. Well, he's the Lord and Savior. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and new episodes of Good Eats just premiered on Discovery Plus, so I'm in heaven. Uh, of course. Come on. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna print out an eight by ten off of him and frame it and put it on the bar while Stacy shoots it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like this is a, I mean, this is a great move for you and Ash and the kids, um, but like network wise and things like that, I think it's a good move to get more stuff rolling that otherwise have been put on hold because we were we were gonna do that that. Uh, 
down in the front series for a while. Yeah. And I keep forgetting that you're uncomfortable on camera. And it just because I just my creative things get going and then I just I, I'm off and running. And then and I'm not I'm not saying that I'm blaming you or anything. It's just I forget. Um so uh but as we all know from my new TikTok following, I have no problem being on camera. No, you don't. None whatsoever. No. Swags and I were actually talking about that today. I saw her last week. Was it last week? Earlier in the week? Last week? And she was like, you know, it's weird to be scrolling through that app and then see someone you know. That's and what was, she said to me. Yeah. She's like someone like you actually know. Yeah. I was like, hey, thanks. Um, yeah, the, the feedback from that has been... Uh, um, positive. <laughs> Bill, your TikToks are nuts. <laughs> There's like that. And I haven't gotten a negative comment yet, so I guess I'm on the right. I'm trying to play it like politically correct, nothing overly offensive. Except the neck pussy one. I got a lot of shit for that. <laughs> because my mother follows me on TikTok. <laughs> what? 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 I was trying to send one of my TikToks to Kate. Right under Kate's name in Messenger is my mother's, and I hit that on accident because my thumb is too fucking big. And she was like, first of all, that's hilarious. Second of all, neck pussy. And I'm like, well, who the fuck is Messenger? Oh, no. <laughs> so then, <laughs> binking, user some, some, something, something, something is followed. She goes, if you just got a user thing, uh, follower, that's me. I'm like, lovely. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I, I kind of enjoy it. I think that's, it, it's a, it's more of an outlet for me to get more of my shit, <laughs> more of my shit out. Cause I'm finding lately that I'm having a hard time getting, uh, uh, um, um, getting everything out that's upstairs. So, um, like the one I posted yesterday <laughs> about the Irish guy, uh, on how to include your, when it had to increase your, uh, your concentration without coffee. Yeah. It pissed me off. Like, I was legit angry. I was like, how dare you? The model face one where you push Sophie out the way? I lost my that's shit! The one that people have been like, yo, that's, that's ridiculously funny. I watched that like three <laughs> times! And I'm losing my shit! And Ashley's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, <laughs> Bill's TikTok, and I showed her. <laughs> and, because, and because I watched it so many times, like, I knew exactly when you pushed Sophie out the way. So not even watching it, I <laughs> lost it again. The funny part about that is Sophie, Sophie didn't know it was coming. I was like, hey, you want to do a TikTok with me? She's like, yeah, because I don't let her have TikTok. So, uh, so she, at, I, I turned the mic off so the sound could play underneath. And when I pushed her, she went, what the fuck, Dad? <laughs> uh, oh, it's fun. It's fun. It's a, it's a, I don't know, it's a neat little app. It's, it's, it's a kind of like a backdoor into being a, an actual YouTuber. Yeah. But, um, I did activate one for Spilt Looker, just in case. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. Um, maybe I'll just try to do some stuff, some, some Spilt Looker stuff on TikTok. If that gets any positive stuff, then I'll go into uh, getting it set up down here for shooting. Um, but we were also still looking into buying a house as well. Uh, we set a goal of doing it before 35 and I'll be 34 in a couple months. So, um, oh my God, you'll be 35 in May. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, you're not going to be here for our birthday. You twat. No, I'm not. You absolute cunt. <laughs> we, we usually have birthday celebrations. Mm hmm. Uh, revels. There are revels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why'd you do it? <laughs> and then, so, we, uh, we took the kids for cupcakes today in Tamaqua. Uh-huh. So, um... <laughs> Two more followers. <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> Follow me on TikTok at Twiggy Things. <laughs> we, um, we had to go to Walmart to pick up a couple things. And, uh... God, that's good. So we're, like... Right on Pie Street, like, where it ends, like, the, the one ways each. Yeah. And, uh, she was like, so, are we going to have to come back here when we get married? And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? 
Oh, hold on. For me to do the ceremony? Yeah. No, I'm gonna tra- I'll travel. I'm see? Gonna- see? <laughs> I've never been to Missouri. And I was like, no. I was like, he said he'd be out there. And I was like, besides, if he doesn't, I was like, I have a backup. Eddie said he'll do it. And she's like, she's like, um. No. <laughs> if you don't let Bill do it, oh. he's going to kill you. <laughs> and I'm like. It's not even that. It's I'm like, like, I know. It's like, given the choice between myself, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I know. I was like, even, I was like, he's been saying for years, if I ever get married, he's doing the ceremony. Mm, I just re-upped my certification. <laughs> and then, uh, we were up at Walmart, and then I was talking to Courtney and Mindy, and we were telling them, and, uh, like, we were showing them pictures of the house and all that, and Courtney's like, Mindy said something about, about getting married, and Courtney's like, yeah, she's like, we could just go there, vacation. She's like, you could put up a tent in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have the room for it. It's like a fucking huge backyard. I have a fucking parking lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm looking at a place in Kansas City right now. Let's say, Let's say September. Go for a fall wedding. That's what we kind of want. 320. It's only a 15 hour drive, 16 hour drive. I drive up. <laughs> My foot fell asleep for a 20 minute ride home today. <laughs> My leg fell asleep while I was driving. That's new. Yeah. I, 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 I was I, I was falling asleep while I was driving and I was fucking, I'm just, ex, I was exhausted. And, uh, Right around the time that my shot came on from the Hamilton soundtrack, my foot st- I got the tingly feelings, and I'm like, I don't like that. And then I lit a cigarette, but all the tobacco had fallen out, and I didn't see it, so it was just flaming paper in my face. <laughs> so, I, so I had to pull over, and I was like, oh, I'm awake. <laughs> um, well, uh, congrats, I suppose. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm sad that you're leaving, but I can't help but be happy. I mean, I can be an adult every once in a while. Krista's first comment to me today, she's like, did Bill cry? <laughs> no. Like, I haven't really talked to him. I mean, I did, but not today. It's like, um, I haven't I haven't really, you know, seen him. It's like, I told him over text, and she's like, you told him over text? I'm like, yeah. She's like, isn't that like a more of like a phone call or in-person <laughs> thing? And I'm like, have you met me in uh-huh. Pen? Like... <clears throat> Yeah, that, yeah, that's the one thing with the, what's the first, the, was it the, the episode we had Ashley over here? She's like, I've never seen you in Raptor Hug. I'm like, why, why would I do that? Yeah. <laughs> why, why, why would I, why would I touch her? <laughs> like, <laughs> she's like, well, it doesn't make me uncomfortable. It's just, I think we draw the line, line at fist bumps on high fives. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe the, no, 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 I did smack you in the ass once. Yeah, you did. That hurt, by the way. <laughs> I think I caught you walkie or something. <laughs> Ooh. That was the same day I had you check the check my pants size. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the same day I was digging in your pants. I mean... Uh, in the middle of the floor of Walmart. I mean, if anybody ever questions our friendship, <laughs> <laughs> this bitch stuck their hand down the back of my pants to check my pants size <laughs> in broad day... Uh, on the clock. <laughs> yep. Middle of the floor. During business hours. <laughs> During, like, busy business hours, too. Well, I'm not just going to remove my pants in the middle of the pants <laughs> and look. I don't know my pants size sometimes. Yeah, that was, that was it. Raptor, check my pants size. Yeah. Yeah, you were like, and you didn't even hesitate. You were like, just doing it? All right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, um, uh, I'm going to go on the horn tomorrow and start looking for co-hosts. But in the meantime, uh, we might be away for a little, a little bit. I don't know. It depends on how, how quick I can get somebody in. Um, but other than that, uh, you could still find us on social media. Uh, we are on TikTok as well at Inside You Podcast, um, and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and uh, the Pony Express. <laughs> Your sister's ass. <laughs> she brought up the Snapchat thing again the other day. Uh, yeah. Let's put that on hold for right now. Um, seeing as you guys are going to be. Incredibly busy. And, um... She's like, I'll snap our whole journey! <laughs> like, really? I'm like, you're gonna be doing that anyway. Yeah, save, save, the, save the snapping the entire journey for your personal thing. <laughs> Exciting and new. <laughs> Going down the freeway. 
Uh, we'll revisit that when we when when uh, you hop back on on a permanent basis. We'll 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 bring that back up. Um. um but uh, yeah. So um, Raptor signing off for a bit. Um, but I'll be back with co-hosts aplenty. I hope. Maybe I can get my mother to co-host one. Yo, that'd be interesting. It would wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, oh! I wonder how many low low ball <laughs> atheist jokes I can sneak into that episode. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so we're just uh checking into to uh have rapper sign off for a little bit um but uh keep following us uh follow us on on social follow us on our personal socials we give a shit yeah really um uh, i really gotta step up my instagram game again i haven't posted in a while neither have i everything's kind of taken Take it aside since yeah. the fucking new shit hit. And I just, I, even my brother messaged me. He's like, I thought you only had a TikTok for your podcast. I was like, yeah, I fucked up. So I, the last thing I posted on Instagram, January 8th when we did the nacho table again. Oh no, that was the first time we did it. Oh, that's, that's still a good idea. I gotta do that. Nacho table. I wanna do that. We did it twice. That was uh that was fun. The kids loved it. I mean we all loved it. Okay, I just I'm just wondering what's gonna stop me from stripping it. Do you like getting drunk stri- stripping naked and rolling around in the nachos? Because that's, that's Easiest okay. thing to do if you do that, get one of those like dollar like party tablecloths. Mm-hmm. Um and then we like put a vinyl plastic one? Yeah. yeah. And then we put like aluminum foil down. Okay. And then we just rolled everything up and just threw it out. It's the easiest way to do it. That's adulting at its finest. I love that during the holidays where I could just fucking crumple something up, throw it out. Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, we didn't do that the second time because that was kind of like a last minute thing. But the first time we actually like planned it out, we got like one of those like $1 like little vinyl tablecloths. Yeah. Threw that down. Did some aluminum foil. And then just threw everything on top of the aluminum foil. And then we were all done. Just crumple everything up and threw it away. I want to do it. I want to do it. Stacey's next cheat night. I'm going to just nacho table. I can just see Lennon, Lennon standing up on his chair to get a nacho and falling into the nacho. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was definitely fun. Well, that about does it for tonight. Um, I said we uh, wish Raptor the best of luck on her journey out to the to the north to the Midwest. Yep. <laughs> um, do not become a Chiefs fan. If anything, Seahawks. <laughs> Seahawks. I'm not going pro football fan. <laughs> Um, <laughs> not the Jets. Please no. <laughs> I'm stuck with that. <laughs> um, for Inside You with Bill and the Raptor, I'm Bill. Raptor. And we're pulling out. <laughs>